decisions uh, being a single parent uh, to some extent do you think they affect your child i feel one day it will come affect although it will affect cause he's the only boy in our family yeah. and i would say the moment il toka ko babake tukenda okay we were not married tulikuwa unaniita be a couples kanishana so nikapata ball hizo disagreements zikakuja nikarudi nika home my mom akanichukua akaniambia tu watanisaidia kula mtoi so the moment tulienda scan tukafanya scan mamangu akaona ni mtoto boy she was so happy tulienda scan ngong she was so happy cuz hakuwa na mtu hatuna mtoto boy and all my dad alikuwa anasema ni ati wale wenye alinicheka sina mtoto kijana nimepata ndo huyo you see and let me say my mom alilipia clinic ya mtoto wangu toka clinic nguo like everything it was my mom and my and my dad so niza sema please yenye yako mtoto wangu ako so happy and the funny thing ni ati hata kama analelewa na shusho na gukam mtoto wangu hongeangi Kiswahili aongee Kiembo anaongea only English so he's happy and even ya milelewa as in you'd feel hadi ukimpigia simu una feel huyo mtoto ako spoiled cuz anything ataitisha unasikia tu anapewa cuz he's the baby of the family is the higher tunaweza sema hivyo kulingana na mira yetu as in cuz is the only boy unaona yep. so we'd say he's happy thing that's also uh, an advantage to you now that your parents came in or stepped in to support you uh-huh. na kuna ule maybe pale uh, the moment ali kwa a single mother the parents the friends uh, wali wali mwepa so uh, she is struggling hapa na pale so an advice to such a person I would say one thing yes. the moment they ma mepata ball haikwangi easy haikwangi easy hata mimi on my side hata kama nilipata ball wazazi wangu akani accept nayo haikuwa easy it wasn't easy cause most of the time una feeling you call lonely una unaona cause pale kwa kitanda mlikuwa wawili lakini mimba imekuja uko peke yako so to this girl mwenye maybe ako na ball na boy ana shughuli wazazi wamemhepa mimi naweza mwambia ako too strong si rahisi nitamwambia si rahisi cuz until now for me it's not easy it's not easy it a take time it a take years for me imechukua let me say Three years now, two years, two years to get myself up. For her, haita kwa raisi cause nona na leo mtu wa peke yake. But one thing niza mwambia asitoe cause hajui mtu anaweza kuwa nini. Unaona? Niku to strong, angangane. I know kabisa kabisa kabisa. Unaweza ambia mtu kuwa strong. You see, yes. utaambia mtu kuwa strong, but hajui atakuwa strong aje nelewa niza mwambia ati be strong lazam toi everything it a come sijui nini nini no me i know mtu ashiniambia ni kwa strong na nashangaa na kwa strong for what yani nashindwa so mimi niza mwambia tu like achukue two step to amoe wewe ni mtoto wangu nitamlea let me face everything No no, I'm too faced to everything. And then the best thing also to pray. Cuz God anasembanga akunanga kitu iko na mwanzo ina mwisho. Everything has a start. Everything that has a start has an end. Kama si tumeanza hii show, lazima itaisha. Unaona? So ukishapata tu your ball, amua tu utalea tu. Acha tu ni lay whatever comes, let it come. We will work hard for your kid. If it is one baby na umeachanishwa na kila mtu ngangana unaona ngangana kabisa just be strong if anyone 
if you need help unaweza ask for help unaona si vibaya ku ask for help by the way because adi i see sometimes tiktok watu wanaingia live wanasema ni sidi ni this and this na wasema wanachanga people have money outside here wanamchangia even more than 100k you see so if you need that help ongea usijitenge na watu ongea speak it out cuz me one thing in najua inye ili ili nifanya ni kwa so much hard ni ati niliti nyamazia sikuwa naongea sikuwa naongea even my mom aniza aniza sema like nikuwa mimba ya mtoto wangu i used to cry every day every day i was never happy if i would show you a picture of me your time na sahi is a difference a very big difference so mimi ni zambia to your dem ni help as is to ke people will talk inge social media squeeze watu wanasaidiwa sana talk yourself out and most of all pray a big a bigger percentage ya watu mm-hmm. uh, they fear social media because of being judged so mm-hmm. don't you think <laughs> So, social media watu wataongea. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> social media everyone will talk. Unaona? Uh-huh. Ataongea kila kitu. Yaani ut expect everything from all sides. Uh-huh. Ukwa pale kwa social media unaweza sema hata saseni uone msi amekuuliza unatuliza utaezana. Out of nowhere. So wewe ukishae kapo hapo tu kama ni TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Hata so many comments. Mwenye atakam through atakam through for you. I know people will be like sana sana for single parents utasikia mtu amekwambia ti tafuta kazi, sijifanye hivi. Okay, mtu hii mtu hii akiwa mdogo huwezi za kwenda job. Cuz let me tell you if kuna time inakuwa ng'a at risk kwa mtoto ni between the first month to the sixth month so wezi bebana na mtoto everywhere atunena job unaona akishafikisha six months at least wewe ni mtoto ana crow utaenda naye kufua unaona yeah. utaenda naye kufua utaenda naye kulima unaona hiyo sasa tutakwambia ndo utafute job lakini between one month to six months usi feel as in hata dem mwenyewe kwangi amepona hiyo kidona unajia kwa hiyo position hiyo dem mwenyewe ana mtu kumsaidia yeah. jionge unaona yeah. jionge venye una feel hata acha kujionge hadi hosi na unaanga kuna watu usaidiwa the young generation wenye wanakuja kuna wale wenye wanafikiria labda ah, nikipata mimba ya ubo hii i think atanipenda zaidi so something of the so do you think your environment ni conducive <sighs> mimba hizi ya boy Mimba yezi ya kaboy. Okay, on my side siku I didn't get pregnant at it to keep my baby daddy. Uh-huh. I didn't. But uh, naizambia madem mimba yezi ya kaboy. Unaona? Uh-huh. The only thing net kama akupendi move on. Don't keep pushing a relationship that is not working. Cause me one thing in the same the reason is to why I got pregnant singe kwa pregnant by the way but nilijeka in a toxic relationship <laughs> baby dad wangu alikuwa so toxic i know at watch cuz nitaeka whatsapp but he was really toxic ngiona usiku as in nimetoka job unaona saa umetoka job hujaosha nguo uja hujaosha vyombo So the only time you have new siku. So no. Nitatoa nguo nifue. But utasikia na pia yeye anafuliwa. Utasikia tu ako kwa nyuma anasema ati nisifu usiku. He w- hata fua. Ati na make noise sijui na brush junaosha viatu. He would misbehave like that. Singe watch Afro cinema kwa nyumba. Ati sijui na watch Afro cinema. Even when my sisters akikuja kunisalimia he would behave like that. Sometimes angekuja tu kwa nyumba ati amechukua kama you know, unaona skipping rope yeah. ati ametoka kwenda kujinyonga by that time we was thinking at rongai over a small stupid argument ati amechukua kamba anataka kwenda kujinyonga i believe kwa relationship si boy anafaa sana kubembelezwa 
boy no nafaa ku, kuleta all heads together mm-hmm. so i would say i tried to fix a relationship that was not supposed to be fixed because at after nilipata mtoto wake niliza mtoto wangu on january 20, 2021 ja, on september 2021 alikuwa sheka demo nyingine ball of form 3 So he was not ready. No na, he was not ready as in acha tuseme hakuwa ananipenda maybe na kwa nasema. You see, he was not as in maybe alikuwa anaona hey acha nibaki tu na Lena cause ya looks ama acha nibaki tu na Lena cause ni kadogo cause he was the first guy maybe I was with. He was the first guy I was with. So alikuwa anasema hey acha nibaki na Lena juu ya this and this unaelewa nivo so mimi naweza sema kawe ni demo kwa hapo nje na hai work achana nayo hivyo ni vanaweza sema don't try to get pregnant <laughs> ati unajaribu kipa man uh-huh. eh hey, una impress nini uh-huh. to hell with it so kama hai work hai work kama hai work hai work you let it go mm. yeah. okay sasa so, so, so. Thank you so much. I hope you will keep encouraging the young people there and uh, so that they keep learning. Kuna yule pia single mother pale and uh, anaangalia huku na huku vitu azijipi. So kuna yule pale mtaani pia is in this or she's in the same situation. So I think uh, it will reach out to that person and uh, in one way or another it am say dear Yeah so thank you for coming on BTS podcast thank you for having me yeah welcome so.